All right, let's talk about Seattle with the boy and moving on. The Detroit Pistons make a mistake. Uh, let's talk about it. And I think it was Ed Stefanowski who drafted uh, him and Dwayne Casey, whoever it was who drafted uh, Seattle with the boy. Yeah. So let's talk about it. What we could have had, and did they give up too quick? And, and one of the main things before I hurry up and go on is that they didn't give him a chance. The Pistons organization over for forever since you know the Isaiah Bad Boy days, they've been they've been stuck on this 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 thing where they where you have to earn your keep in practice. That's not been relevant for twenty plus thirty fucking years. You know you don't have to prove it in practice anymore. To, to be a good game player. You don't have to have practice etiquette. Ellen Iverson said practice. We talking about practice. And that was more, uh, I think he was more shook up from a death. I think one of his best friends had died. But I think ultimately he wasn't Troy Weaver guy. And that's why he gone. Killian is the longest tenure guy. If Ed Stefanowski, this in a, in a fake world, has Ed Stefanowski picked... Killian Hayes, he would be gone. If Killian Hayes was not a, a Brad Holmes guy, he would be gone. And tell me I'm lying. And tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. You know? But... Du, du Boye wasn't one of his guys, and that's why Du Boye is gone. Even though Du Boye is a great defender, just like Killian, and they both offensive team, Du, du Boye a better player. He just didn't get a chance. If Du Boye blew up in, in Brooklyn, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be, but that's why he gone. He wasn't he wasn't a Troy Weaver pick. That's why he gone. And you look at the draft, and the, the number one thing that stand on that draft is them taking him over Darius Baisley. That is the biggest thing that stuck out in this draft. Him over Baisley. When you look at it, that's the number one thing. They had an opportunity to get uh, Kevin Porter Jr., but they they when Darius Baisley wasn't there, Baisley went six, seven picks before that pick. They traded that pick away. You know, and at the end of the day, guess what? I'm taking I'm taking Porter. Because this the roster is 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 uh talent at that time. It's still but at that time, really, it, it lacked talent. It really lacked talent, and um, and I, and that was a big miss. That was a big miss. That was a big miss. I think Stefanowski picked the boy. Yeah, that was a huge miss. But that draft in the hole is still looking like, other than Zion, John Morant, R.J. Barrett, you know, and DeAndre Hunter, that draft is looking like Barrett Garland. He started to come. Culver. Kobe White, Jackson Hayes, Ryan Hamuchimura, whatever, Cam Reddish, Cameron Johnson, PJ Watson getting took like a simp. He is a simp. Tyler Hero, he had a shaky year this year. Romeo Langford, I don't think he he arrived. I think Nikhil Alexander Walker, you still start to see him him to rise. With Lonzo gone, but that draft wasn't that good. Ty Jerome, Nazir Little, you know the best the best players in this draft is Kevin Porter Jr., Darius Baisley. Zion, Ja, RJ, DeAndre Hunter. You know? So, that's my thing, man. It's to the point where, you know, Darius Baisley was the pick. They didn't take Darius Baisley in. Baisley, you know, I, I don't see where, you know, you know anybody from France, I don't want him no more. Darius Baisley is, is hooping. He may be hooping on the back team, but you got to remember, he, he only 21 years old. And last year, he put up Hold on. Hold on. Can we get the... Last year... They had all these... <coughs> I don't even know. He put up 30, almost 14 points a game. Uh, 7.2 rebounds. 1.8 assists. So, he started He started coming to his own. He's he probably still getting taller at 6 eight, but... You know, like I said before, that should have been the pick. But, you know, if the boy had turned around in Brooklyn, people going to say that should have been the pick. They should have kept the pick. But to me, man, it wasn't as, it wasn't as bad as, as right now. It wasn't as bad as what's old boy name. Now, it's not, it wasn't as bad as passing up on Devin Booker. 
It was it was it was one as bad as Carmelo, Darko. So, I mean, honestly, we just got to sit back and take a wait and see approach. But he was a better ball player than Killian Hayes. Killian only got the nod over him. He only got the nod over him because Brown because uh, Troy Weaver picked him. That's the God honest truth. That's the only reason that man got the nod over uh he going over Killian. Because Killian is by far he just Killian is trash. But he was hand picked by the wizard of Oz himself, Troy Weaver. And I know, I know it's like, man, but you're gonna favor your kids over anybody else, right? And basically, and basically, they they like his kids. They like his kids, man. And um, you know, we at the point where, you know, we gotta wait and see what happens. But the boy, man, it wasn't the worst pick, but obviously they had an opportunity to pick up Kevin Porter Jr. and they didn't. So that's always gonna stick out. They don't have an opportunity to take Kevin Porter Jr. And they didn't. You know, that's always going to stick out. So, that is what it is. But um, the boy, a hell of a basketball player. I think he got a raw deal in Detroit. Um, what more can I say? He did get a, he did got a, uh, he did get a raw deal. He did, you know, because you know when you start when you start ignoring talent over favoritism over picks, you know that's gonna be Troy. If Troy Weaver got a downfall, that's gonna be it. Cause then he he, he when you didn't evaluate him when you bought Josh Jackson Bay and he should have been traded that year, you knew he wasn't gonna get no burn. So like I said, I I, I had a, only issues I really got with Weaver is how he handled the boy and he didn't trade him sooner, and how he still got Killian on his roster knowing that he asked. That's only my only real. That's my only real issues, you know. He, you know, you get you get a, you get to put Killian in there and give him wait and see a chance, and he can't do shit else but but defend. The boy can defend, he can dribble, he can shoot, you know. So like I said before, you brought in more reinforcements for the point guard position by bringing in K Cunningham, but he get to go, he get to stay, and Bay, the boy get to go. All of it is, all it is, is you know, the boy wasn't one of his guys, but hey. Let me know what you guys think. Check Detroit Pistons Talk playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, best way to donate. Share the video. Thumbs up. All the good stuff. But if you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJGood313. Venmo CJGood313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Hit me up. Share the videos. But um, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. When I advertise on the channel, video request, chop it up. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think. Comment section. Peace.